Today I want to show you how you set up a RESTful server in Lucy. This video will be split in two parts. First video show you the basics and how you use it in general. And the second video will you show advanced feature and hidden gems with RESTful server in Lucy. So let's start. In Lucy, RESTful services are based on components. So every component uh, describes a RESTful service, similar to classic web services. So I have here a folder with a component. That component looks like this at the moment. So I take the path to that directory. Then I go to the Lucy administrator. Inside there you find the page REST. On that page you can define uh, REST mappings. I choose the virtual path metrics for that. We come to that later. And then the directory that holds my at the moment single component. But of course it can have multiple components. So you see I have here the path. Then I want to point to the folder that holds that component or multiple components. So I'm storing that. I don't make it as default. Default means I don't have to use that virtual pass. I can I can simply don't use that. And but I don't do that in that case. So you see, we have a mapping for metrics that points to that folder. So now we look a little bit into the component. You see, the component itself also has a pass that is system in that case. So we have already two paths. We have metrics and system. So when we write metrics in the URL, Lucy knows, okay, you want to have that mapping. Then when we write system, Lucy knows, okay, you want to have that component. Now we make a function inside that component. That function, first of all, has a rest path. We only look at that at the moment. So we have the rest path OS. That means we have metric system OS. So when we now open the browser and we put in that URL, so we have to start with rest. So Lucy knows, okay, we want to do a rest call. Then we add the mapping to the, we defined it in the admin, that was metrics. Then we add URL to the components itself, that was system. Then we add the rest pass for the function, that was OS. So when we call that, you see we get the response from that component. So we had metrics for the mapping, system, OS. And we simply return server.os from the server scope information about the OS. So we get back a struct that then get converted to JSON. So we get that information back. Next thing is HTTP methods. At the moment, when we look at the function itself, we have defined the HTTP method get. But you can define different methods, post, put, Everything HTTP supports. This depends also on the server. Not all server allows all methods. Normally, update and delete are not allowed on a on a regular web server. You have to enable them that they work. But of course, get post are always supported. So when we go here and we change that to post, then our call will no longer work. No REST service for that because we now we still make a GET call, but it's expecting a POST call. So when we change that back, it is working again. Next thing are REST ARC source. That means where the arguments for the function are coming from. For that, we make a new function that is called GET TIME ZONE. And the rest pass for that function is time zone. But you see, we all, in that case, we only had the, had rest pass OS, but in that case, we have time zone slash key with curly bracket. And then this key can be used as argument source. 
you see here the first argument in that function the name is the same name as here key and the rest arc source is pass so that means it will get that argument from the pass we can do here as many arguments as we like so if we define an argument it has to be there and the second argument is rest arc source url so it will pick the argument from the url so as from the query string next to pass and url lucy also supports other rest arc sources what is form cookie header body and matrix but we will address that in detail in part two so we have the, the rest pass time zone plus the key then we call that in the browser so instead os we have time zone and i simply call that there is no rest service because again we have designed time zone plus the key so only time zone is not working so there are different different values you can pass first one is id so i pass id and you see we get the time zone as an id then i can for example change to name you see i get the time zone as a name in that case it's the english representation of that name maybe you have seen that we have the second argument defines the region used to display the time zone name that is passed as a url argument so we have to do it that way in that case because it's in URL, it has to be in the query string so it was local then we take uh, french switzerland and you see now we get the result in french when we, we change it to uh, German Switzerland we get it in German Italian Switzerland and so on so far we got the result as a JSON string what is normal for rest but in Lucy or CFML in general you can get the result in a different format that is done in a very simple way when we go back to the prior call let's say we had um, id then i can add the appendix json you see i get the same result of course json what is the default syntax but i can also say okay i want to have it as vetted we have xml java serialize and so on but we will discuss that in the next video i hope this video was helpful to you have a good one